massively reactive. Who? Big reactive problem. So um, what? So like cars, people, dogs, everything. Like can't walk in without him absolutely going ballistic, walking past a normal street or anything. <laughs> this is he's absolutely stressed out. Hello, Doggy. Really stressed out. Alright. Um, so it's, I think it's down to a lot of fear, but I've tried a trainer before, <laughs> nothing's working, so. so. What did the previous trainer do? Um, she told me that by walking in was making it worse. Okay. So I got told not to walk in and kind of go up and down the street constantly, but nothing was changing. He's still going absolutely so. ballistic. He's because avoiding well. a problem doesn't make the problem go that's away. That's what I thought, yeah. So I was like. Hello, Nugget. He's just a bit <laughs> psycho, that's him. I know, bub. So yeah, he's a bit stressed. I've been trying your like techniques though with holding the lead like close and stuff. That's been helping a lot. Um, but it's things like when we walk past the person, he goes ballistic. It doesn't matter what I do. If I say enough, anything, it's like never ending. Why is this is chill for him right now, to I be know. fair. So I know. this is what I mean. This is kind of what it is on a walk, but 10 times worse. Okay. Um, okay. There's a dog right here. Well done, Nuggie. You tell him, mate. <laughs> he's, he's like a little freaking. He's got a little man syndrome. It's like I, I, I will trap off from a distance, but if you move, I'm going to leg it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, he took it. Oh, so, he did, did he? Yes, yes. Oof. Yeah, so I like to use treats to gauge where the dog's at mentally. Right. So if he'll take treats when it's you and him and nothing going on, then we know he's in a good state. But when, when you're out, out and he's nugget 100 mile an hour, mm -hmm. then if he won't take treats because he's too worked up. So, the, so now you see the real nugget. <coughs> hey. Yeah, that's good boy. Taking the treats. Yeah, good boy, nugget. <laughs> I'll give you a reward for that. More treats yep. locked and loaded. Hey, good boy. Every time he hops behind me, some treats. Okay. So I want him to stop going forward. Yeah. And so that's what he does. He wants to get to it. Whatever it is, he's frustrated. He yeah. Wants, he but then he get the it. problem is he's cute and fluffy. He mimics like a fucking rabbit or something. <laughs> so he's gonna run to the dog, and then yeah. he's gonna shit himself and run off, that's and he becomes does. prey. I mean, heaven forbid he's around a fucking greyhound or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> nugget is literally going to be the definition of a nugget. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let me come closer. Hey. Good boy! When he goes behind me, reward. I want him to learn that's the good position. Okay, right. In front, you get stressed behind me, good things happen. Yeah. I don't know if I should let him go near more dogs or just avoid it. I don't, I don't no, because at this state, he's so fragile that yeah. he will go to the dog, panic, bark, 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 bark run away, bark. become prey. Right, okay. Yeah, and all we've done is we've continued him on the harness, like I said, for safety reasons. He's mm -hmm. a palm, he's a small dog, he's got a soft palate. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've got a nice little nylon collar on him as well, just a normal collar that he can come with, right? But the two together give you much more control. Uh, I just want to slow him down a little bit. So you see how I'm slowing down? Yeah. The reason I'm slowing down is because I want Nugget to slow down. Mm -hmm. Nugget is literally all over the place, he needs to slow down a little bit. Mm. I actually need to slow down for Nugget, I can't move at Nugget's pace because Nugget's pace is extremely fast and anxious. It is. I need to slow down, so I slow myself down, I slow my breathing down, mm -hmm. and I just say nice and chilled out. I'm by my side like this, so if he does pull, my wrist does all the action. So my wrist flicks up, which pulls the lead up like that, and then relaxes. It's up and relaxed. But already, we've, we've, he's still on the harness, mm -hmm. but the harness is only there so he doesn't slip his collar if he gets nervous and doesn't damage his throat right. because we're using a collar, which means I can work off the two of them. But the primary driving collar mm -hmm. is his normal collar. Right. That's where the correction's coming from. The harness is there if I need it mm -hmm. to alleviate pressure from his throat. Oh, 
Savage! Yeah, and that could be a person, a yeah. child, anything. Anything that moves. A car. Look in, look in. Wow. Good yeah, boy. That's so good. Fucking brilliant. Ah, uh, come here. Right. So let's just go for a walk. Put Ted back for me, please. Can you give him a little break? Ah, uh, this is my boy. Give him a little break. Okay. Yeah, I've always had the soft spot for the pom. I did not take you for a pom person. Yeah, not at all. So when she said that, I was like, you're joking me right now. I was like, yes. Pom poms and border terriers. I've got a border terrier. Oh, yeah, border terrier. Border terriers are amazing. Get out of that lead by now, so you're chilling. It's because we like poms. That's what it is. <laughs> you know that I like you. <laughs> Usually Nugget doesn't get a lot of fans, so you know. I like you, like, Nugget. I like you. What did that? Someone called him the Asbo dog when I was walking in once. This man said, "That's the Asbo dog." Oh, I'm like, no, <laughs> he's going ballistic. Every time I'd say, "Come here, Brian." Little terrier. Who's that? Yeah, good boy. Come to me when you're scared. <laughs> I'm really surprised at that. Yeah, come to me when you're scared, Nugget. Oh. That was amazing because he got all the nervous and he's like, I can't come here, it's better here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know. Well, the thing is, if Nugget was to jump up at me, mm -hmm. I would probably stroke Nugget. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if a Rottweiler jumped at me, I would yeah. push it down. Well, now, the only difference is, I'm, I'm not saying me personally, mm -hmm. this is what people do. So what happens with a dog like Nugget, they get to behave in a pushy, needy manner to get what they want. Oh, yeah. Whereas with it's a big so dog, you're like, no, it hurts. Yeah. And, and, that, and that is literally where people go wrong with small dogs. Mm. Like I said, if Nugget jumped up, you literally our response would be to stroke Nugget. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like yeah. the German yeah. Shepherd, the Rottweiler, yeah. the Great Dane, we would push him down. Yeah, yeah. So the Great Dane and the big dog, we start to teach boundaries. No, mm -hmm. be respectful. No, don't be pushy. But with the little dog, we reward the pushy nature. Yeah, 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 so yeah. we end up with a dog where things are on their terms. If I do this, I get attention. Yeah. But then when they don't get attention, they get stressed. They're like, hang on a second, normally this works. Yeah. We let these push past us, sit on our laps, get in our face. But with a big dog, we push them down. So we end up with a small dog that's not treated properly, not have those yeah. boundaries in place. And then, of course, <laughs> so the foot I'm just using as a, I'm not kicking the dog. Yeah, you're pushing them back. Just walk past for me, please, Steve. And walk back for me again, please, Steve. Good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. He looked at you for a trip. Come on, I've got to go. Well, that, that's how you know it's working. Yeah. I'm not going to pick you up now. <laughs> See, that's, that's when you can talk to him like a baby, because it's a good boy. Good yeah. boy moment, not a panic moment. No, it wasn't. The, the reality is, uh, I, I take the dog, I influence the dog, get the dog to a better state, show you guys how your dog can behave, then it's down to you guys Carry on. Uh, to start to implement it. Uh, like I said, there's a time and a place to freaking baby talk the crap out of your dog. Yeah. When your dog's panicking, it's not that. Right. Yeah, like I said, it's okay. When has that ever helped a bloody dog? Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the reality is, oh look, my dog's nervous. It's okay. Right. Well, dog trainers go out of business straight away. Yeah. Yeah? Because how fucking easy would it be to fix a dog if you had to tell them it's okay? Yeah. Well, that's it, problem solved. Absolutely. The, 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 the reality is, it's okay. You're feeling sorry for the dog. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You're getting soft when the dog's in a soft state, in a weak state. Yeah. Yeah, so you become a bumbling mess with the dog. The reality is... That's crazy right now that he's just sat down with the dog sitting down there. Usually it'd be like absolutely like neurotic yeah. at this point, spinning in circles, everything. But that's because I didn't tell him it's okay. That's yeah. because I use my stern voice when necessary. He's not even bothered that he's there right now. Nah. It's just kind of... There's a dog right there. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Glad my baby voice is allowed to come out now. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so hard to like restrain him. <laughs>
Like I said, well, the, the, the reality is, despite what is some people might like to paint us out to be, yeah. we don't take anything away from you. Mm -hmm. we, we, we just get you to have that healthy balance. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to pick him up, pick him up. If you want him on the sofa, let him on the sofa. Yeah. Yeah. You want a baby talking, baby talk him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's a time and a place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who is this dog right now that's just sat next to me like this? It's like, a dog that's realising he doesn't have to be so stressed. Do you know what I mean, Amy? Like, usually he's running around and he's like, I can't keep him still for a second. Different dog. Bring it back. Have you been a good boy? Yes. But you don't get concerned now. Yeah. You keep walking, stay nice and chilled out. Good boy. Good boy. How's that? Turn around and walk past me. Bring him round, bring him round. We'll walk together. Just keep him out there, head up, shoulders up, just learn to feel. Mm -hmm. That's why you hold the lead short quite relaxed. Look at my lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, it's there, so I can communicate if I need to. Mm -hmm. You don't know what good boy is, is because we give them a treat. The reason they know what yes is, because we give them a treat. Um, but the reason they don't know what enough is, is because we don't do anything. We just say the word and expect them to know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Settle down a little bit more. He goes under the table usually. Get a crate. Get a crate. I've got a crate, yeah, I just yeah. don't use it. Make sure it's a small crate. So, for instance, if you look at, you can come in this way. Yeah. If you look at this crate, okay. that's too big for Sammy. Yeah, that's a big crate. She could effectively run around, jump up. A crate needs to be big enough the dog can stand up and turn around in. I've just temporarily put Sammy in that crate, mm -hmm. but that's a crate that's actually too big for her. Okay. So it's going to be far too big for your dog. Mm -hmm. uh, you need a crate that your dog can pretty much stand up, turn around, and then lay back down. Okay, yeah. 